Listen to the wind blow, watch the sun rise. talk about is business object mobile analytics which is something really exciting and um, it's available right now in the App Store so what you see here is for a retailer um, if you come in take a look at make a query around retail market analysis system finds you a particular the list of the people who are presenting tonight apart from one exception and I'll mention why that exception is clear in a sec they're all SAP mentors you know these guys are good, some of them, but they're not that good. You guys can do better than that, okay? I want you guys to go away and think about these demonstrations you see tonight, and I want you to come up with some ideas so you can be here next year. A bunch of scurvy birds. Oh, yeah, to tell you a story about stealing. Because I'm a pirate, see? That's what I'm a pirate, Steve. Now, me being a pirate, I always love this whole mobile explosion. Because, you know, following Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and, and Pirates and all that stuff. Here. And, and, and it gives us the ability to, to not only live refresh this, and, and the little uh, chart here is live refreshing as well, but that can change the group by criteria on the fly. So maybe instead of uh, grouping this by customers, I want to see my order data grouped by country. And right there, in, in real time, you see the, the chart change. We're really going back to the database. One of the ways to get around this is maybe we have a meeting, we all get together, and we discuss it collaboratively. But yeah, we're all time poor. We don't have time to get together. And it's really difficult to get people, especially when you've got offshore resources and all that sort of stuff going on. So what's a code review at the end of the day? We read code and we write comments, and we talk about what's been done so that people can get better and understand different approaches. Yeah. And I can effectively, by setting up that um, RFC connection, I can open up an interface 
to the program that talks to the helicopter on my behalf. And I can talk to it nice and simply just by doing RFC calls. So this is the sort of code that I would do to do an RFC call. So if I just test this class, you can see I can send a launch command in my helicopter. I have a little bit of a network latency problem because the ABAC system's in the cloud. Um, and I can fly it around and I'm not going to get too ambitious. I can land it. Okay. Okay, so what we're looking at actually is a, uh, a pilot release that we have for our account customers to be able to perform self-service actions on, on their business accounts. We've basically built our own custom uh, user interface layer and, and that's using our own branded web templates. Um, one of the good things is that our own templates we know are fully accessibility compliant so we don't need to have any concerns about that. Um, you can see uh, the user interface is very modern, it's very 2012. I mentioned before, and I'll jump in this because of pet hate. Um, the user group event at the summit last year, the, the Hannah Evangelist for SAP, my question to him was, does this mean that ECC will sit on Hannah in the future and there's no alternative? Yes, that's true. So that means the end of Oracle in the SAP space? Yes, that's true, Paul. Well, today, or well, yesterday, I heard, well, no, customers have differing needs. So some people might put it on ISC or ASC, or IQ and, and other databases. This just annoys the hell out of me because I tell people, customers, this is what I've been told, the roadmap, and so it's not good. You know, and SAP says, no, that's always been our 2020 database roadmap.